Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Labs. Today we're diving into an exciting new tool that recently launched, the Computer Use API. This update lets Claude actually interact with your computer screen based on prompts, so it can perform tasks and take actions for you. In this video, I'll walk you through a full demo, showing you exactly how to set it up and how it works in action. Let's dive in and see what this game-changing feature is all about. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. So this is the website where they explain the computer use API. And if you scroll down, you'll see the link to the GitHub page. Once you click on the link, it'll take you there. Here on the GitHub page, when you scroll down, you'll see the instructions for setting it up locally. I'll guide you through it and show you how it's done. Before beginning, please keep in mind that you'll need a Claude API key for this to work. So let's move on and set this up. So we'll just copy the code given here, and then we'll head over to our terminal and paste it there. Okay, now that we've pasted the given code, you'll need to get your own API key, paste it here, and then just run the code. Once you hit run, the code will start downloading the Docker container. Before we move forward though, I want to mention that you'll need Docker installed on your system. It's up to you, but I'm using WSL2 with Ubuntu on Windows, and you can set that up as well if you prefer. After the process completes, you'll see a message showing the port where it's locally hosted. Simply copy that port and paste it into the browser of your choice, and then we can start using the Computer Use API. So you might have seen it, but this is the interface of the Computer Use API. On the left, you'll see the chat box where we can give the prompts. And on the right, we have a virtual computer, which is a Linux system, and it has some basic apps. It's isolated for security reasons as well. So Claude Computer Use has not been given control of our computer as of now, and that's probably for the better since much testing is yet to be done. And this is still a beta feature. Okay, so let's start by giving it an interesting prompt. You should know that this can access the internet and use the browser. The prompt we're going to give is to go to our channel and find our most popular videos. Okay, let me quickly explain what it's doing. First, Claude takes a screenshot of the screen, and based on that, it performs actions using the Computer Use API. Now, this is very slow, and it burns through your tokens, so it's quite expensive. But like everything, it will improve over time and only get better. So, I'm going to speed up the video a bit because it's moving very slowly. I'll also explain what it's doing. As you can see, it has opened up the browser. Now it's searching for our channel. So now you can see it's navigating the YouTube interface by itself, analyzing everything from the screenshot and figuring out where to go next. Through this process, it has arrived at our channel and is now going to our most popular videos. Well, it took its sweet time, but now it has accurately identified our most popular video, which was our Bolt.new video. This is where AI stands today. It's powerful enough that it can even use your computer. So this video was about how you can set it up locally on your machine with your Claude API key. This was just a simple demo of what it's capable of. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll show how the computer use API can assist in coding tasks. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring.